Right, we've got a home brew to review, and as I'm kind of getting closer and edging closer and closer to the next baby being born, I've got to watch what I'm drinking, but fortunately I've got a nice, easy drinking 3.8% beer here, courtesy of Doorstep Brewing. Check him out on Instagram, give him a follow. Um, it's it's really weird how like you, you get to know people on kind of social media and that, and um, I can't even recall how long I've been following kind of Doorstep Brewing on there and that, but it turns out he's friends with Hop Shots. You may remember the review where you get the little hop packets, the hop tea bags, and you add your hops to your beer to give it that bit more, you know, flavour. You can kind of, you know, jazz up a really boring lager if you like and, you know, put your own hops in that. What I thought was a fantastic idea at the time. Anyway, it turns out they're chums and uh, Doorstep Brewing brews at the doorstep. It has a fantastic label. I'm just going to show you this here. If it zooms in. Oh, it doesn't want to. But you can get that. There we go. The little, the little step. And then real kind of simple, which I think is great. I mean, I don't make that much effort at all on my my labels, I'm pretty poor. So it's Doorstep Brewing Pale Imitation um, and it's 100% Mosaic Steam Beer. Um, yeah, so give him some love on Instagram and give him a follow. It has some fantastic um, images of bus. He's got like um, a bus that he's done up for his wedding. Wish him all the luck with that. Anyway, long story short, um, he wanted to drop this beer and another beer that him and Hop Shots have collaboratively brewed together which is a black IPA which I can't wait to, to sink but it's a little bit stronger so I'm going to have to kind of judge my timing right when I drink that one just in case I get the call anyhow so we kind of um, Lance who is doorstep brewing is kind of down this way at the moment working um, he popped along um, come to my kind of you know where I live just sort of one night after work and yeah we had a chat and swapped a couple of beers I've unfortunately didn't have a lot of beers to kind of give to uh, Lance because I've got such a poor collection on it. I've just realised I haven't even got a glass. One second. It deserves a, a decent glass, I think. And I believe this is straight from the keg, so it'd be no sediment that'd be good to go. Yeah, so we had a good chat and I think it's quite when you when you meet someone that is as passionate about brewing as you, it's kind of you think. I've definitely got to meet up with, uh, with Lance anyway and have a beer. But um, yeah, you just get kind of chatting, you know, it's kind of sharing a common interest is kind of what brings most people together and, the, you know, social media's brought you even closer. So, oh, that smells amazing. Oh, it's just bursting with tropical notes. Right, I'm I'm getting thirsty. I've got to dive in. I've had a I've had a zero percent alcohol beer when I'm getting in from work some nights, and uh, this is the real thing. I need some real beer. Oh, that is perfect. It's like. Like, like uh, what's the word? Pineapple. It reminds me of like um, lilt, kind of lilt or kind of that kind of tropicalness, but in a really crisp, clean, you know, refreshing beer. It's kind of just perfect. That is fantastic. Carbonation's bang on. You wouldn't be hard pressed if that was in. I say it a lot about some home brews I receive, and I don't, I, I wouldn't proclaim to be the best beer reviewer at all, but I will never say a beer is, is fantastic if it ain't, and some, sometimes I might even do a review and I might even send it to the person and say to them, look, this is what I thought of it, you know, just to not offend them and they see it before it goes up, and sometimes it just goes up, but, you know, there hasn't been many that have been poor, but there have been some that have been outstanding, and this is pretty damn good I have to say. If this had a label on it, I find, I, well, I doubt anyone could tell that it was a uh, homebrew. Wow, that mosaic is a fantastic hop. I love it.
and it just shines in this bit. That is probably, I've had some kind of like low session beers, but that's probably one of the best I've had in a long time. That's really good. That even beats some commercials that I've had. Some commercial beers on the lower strengths that proclaim to have like a, you know, a huge amount of hops in them, just kind of not really cutting it. Some are a little bit watery. They can be, some can be like this, especially if, like, when you go down to the low end of like 3%, they can be quite thin, but this is fantastic. This deserves to have been entered into a competition, for me personally anyway. If I brewed a beer this good. Mm. I don't know what else to say, that is fantastic. I drink that all day long. That is so good. It's the sort of beer that makes you just want to go and brew that beer. It just makes you want to go online. I'll probably end up going online and doing a crazy order and ordering loads of hops. It's that sort of beer that just makes you think, oh, I need to brew a beer again. That is fantastic. So thanks to Lance from Doorstep Brewing. Check him out on Instagram, give him a follow. And uh, I'll be reviewing the collaborative hop shots and Doorstep Brewing Black IPA very soon. Like I say, it's a little bit higher on the ABV, so we gonna have to be careful when we drink it, but this is exceptional. Yeah, that's a, it's a 10 out of 10 beer. Superb.